it's, it's a very important thing that we do every year at our annual gathering uh, and something that, that we certainly look forward to. And that is the John uh, McClarity Award. The John McClarity Award is something that our foundation gives uh, to the best uh, of its best. Um, we, uh, it, is, it recognizes the excellence uh, of a legal practitioner's contributions both to the field of energy law and uh, to the uh, Energy and Mineral Law Foundation, its mission uh, and its purpose. Uh, and uh, among uh, lawyers who participate in the Energy and Mineral Law Foundation, uh, this is the highest honor that we can uh, bestow. It is uh, my pleasure to present the award today, uh, not because I have ever earned the award. Uh, how, uh, our previous award winner, uh, Mr. Kevin Abbott, couldn't be here today because of a, a, a different commitment and um, asked uh, specifically that I present it in his stead. Uh, this year's uh, award uh, goes uh, to a member uh, whom I'm sure all of you know and, and know very well. Uh, this year's uh, award recipient has served uh, as a member of the Board of Trustees, the Executive Committee, uh, and uh, as an officer. Uh, this year's award recipient also served as president uh, of this organization. This year's award recipient has chaired, uh, or currently chairs, uh, the Finance Committee, the Strategic Planning Committee, the Communications Committee, and serves on multiple commi committees and task forces of the EMLF uh, and including the Finance Committee. This uh, year's award recipient's contributions are not limited, however, to the Energy and Mineral Law Foundation. Uh, this year's uh, recipient uh, serves a vital and important founding and leadership role with the Women's Energy Network, uh, which is, uh, for those of you that don't know, is an organization, a nonprofit, to provide opportunities for women uh, at the, uh, in the energy industry. Uh, and this year's recipient has served as national president uh, of that uh, organization and is a founding member of the Greater Pittsburgh chapter of that organization. Um, she has uh, also served, and I can say she because the Women's Energy Network is, <laughs> doesn't let people like me in. Um, she is the, the uh, founding member and the past president uh, of the Appalachian chapter. In addition, she has uh, achieved uh, notoriety uh, in the field of energy law. Uh, she is recognized repeatedly and consistently in the who's who in energy. Uh, listings uh, and uh, is the recipient of the Women's Energy Network Pioneer Award. Um, this year's recipient is no stranger to this organization as her contributions uh, are numerous and aplenty. Uh, she has uh, spoken on so many occasions that were I to list them, uh, your drinks would surely uh, run dry. Uh, I, I, I cite several um, uh, most recently in the uh, annual Governor's Energy Summer Summit, she uh, spoke on embracing energy opportunities. She has spoken on wage and hour issues, uh, numerous occasions both at this annual institute and uh, at the Kentucky Mineral Law Conference. Um, she has spoken on issues related to independent contractors uh, in the workplace, she has spoken uh, numerous times on National Labor Relations Board issues. She is recognized uh, universally as an expert uh, in labor and employment issues relative to the energy industry and to coal law uh, in particular. Uh, her publications uh, are also numerous, and one of the goals of our organization is scholarship and publication. Uh, she is routinely cited by news sources, the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette among them, uh, for issues relative to wage and hour uh, and uh, workplace uh, uh, issues uh, in the energy industry. 
She is the co-author and presenter of the ever popular Weed in the Workplace series, uh, which was uh, presented uh, here and published in the annuals of the Energy and Mineral Law Foundation, which I'm sure the founders would just love the fact that we have something called Weed in the Workplace. Uh, and um, uh, she uh, is uh, an ever-present and vibrant member of the leadership of this organization. Um, her work is not confined, however, to energy law, uh, and by no means would she ever allow herself to be defined as just a lawyer. Um, she is uh, deeply involved in her community, serving uh, on the board of the YMCA, YWCA, excuse me, in Charleston, West Virginia, the Conowoc Pastoral Council, the Children's Therapy Clinic, the West Virginia Chamber of Commerce, and the CMA, CAMC Foundation, uh, as well as numerous other charitable and civic activities uh, in her community. Um, among uh, all uh, of the accolades that I can give to this year's nominee uh, is that she is my friend, uh, she is my mentor, and she is somebody that I deeply respect, and she's also somebody that I attribute for my continued involvement and leadership of this fine organization. So uh, without uh, further ado, uh, you've all figured it out by now, it is my distinct honor uh, and privilege to present uh, this year's John McClarity Award to my uh, very dear friend, uh, Aaron McGee. Uh, yeah. so much to me, and I know it can mean so much more for the next generation. So thank you very much. 